Welcome, thanks for joining me in this short vocal video. I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Making a sound where it's no pressure. You're not going for a beautiful sound. You're going for a functional, and we definitely put the fun in functional here. We're going for twang. So if you don't know what twang is, twang is really simple to understand, and it's really simple to do. And like I mentioned, lots of fun. It's that kind of sound. It is whiny. So I'm gonna completely date myself here, but if you know who Fran is on the nanny, if you can imitate Fran, you are all good to go with twang. If you are a younger viewer, well, maybe you know the reruns, just think of the the Wicked Witch, you know, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> so take a moment or two, whether you're picturing Fran, oh, oh my God, or if you're picturing the Wicked Witch, <laughs> it's in the same place, which is where? Well, try it out for yourself and see what you feel. Ah, right here, right? Perfect. So the first step is getting that placement, the whiny placement, the twang placement is literally in your face in every sense. The sound of it, but the feel of it too. And that's when you know it's healthy and very, very effective. You got it? Good job. Now, like I said, you should be feeling it right here. If you are feeling it here, it's too low. If you're feeling it here, it is much too high. So make sure you don't get going on these exercises with me until you find a good place, which is right here. And once you got it, we're ready to go. All right, so the first exercise, we're gonna do a descending scale on yeah. So I'm starting on an A, just for reference. If you wanna start higher, Go right ahead. Every voice is different, especially if you're like a high soprano. If you're much lower voice, a contralto or a baritone, you maybe want to start lower. But I'm starting at an A. And we're gonna do this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And boy, am I feeling that already. Don't be alarmed if you don't feel a whole lot, especially if you're new to this. All in good time. Just do your best. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty dang low. Again, that was my voice. If that was too low for you, you always listen to what's going on. Deal? If that was too low, I never want you to force it. You go as low or as high as is comfortable for you today in this moment. And then everything else will fall into place if you're patient with yourself. Excellent job! So it's that whole feeling of wine, you should feel a brightness. And that's a really cool thing to feel. That just means your voice is hitting your audience. It's resonating. It's all the things you want to happen, believe me. So that was the yeah. Now we're gonna do a triad going back up. And we're gonna do this one on quack, quack, quack like a duck. Yes, you heard correctly. Quack, quack, quack. Told you it was a little goofy today. But goofy gets results, at least in my studio it does. So, nice low breath. To review the breath, it is always low. Like you're sipping through a straw. Main thing I want you to know is there's such a thing as too much of a good thing. Too much air, you don't need it. So be careful there. You can always bring it back to the straw. If you need to pause and take a moment until you get to your breath, absolutely do that because without the breath, nothing else is gonna work. So, solid low breath, sipping through the straw, and then we're gonna do a quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. Think you got it? Jump in when you're ready. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Are you still feeling it here? I'm feeling even more, especially after the last exercise. Keep up your good work. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. A few more? How about two more? Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. How did you do? Kept it in the middle there, middle to low. We don't do that one in head voice. It's really hard to do. <laughs> so that one is for a specific area of your voice to really get that middle all just nice and juicy and strong and resonant, all the things you want, it's all there. And also when you're warming up with twang, if that's a vocal technique you really like, and again, it's perfect for pop and rock 
and Broadway and country and jazz, pretty much every genre you can think of, with the exception of classical, twang is going to serve you in some way. You could also have fun doing little twang slides, like it's really the idea of the sound being whiny. And I also have, as a little bonus here, you can whine the lyrics to your song. Maybe not the whole song, that can be quite taxing. But another suggestion I have for you singers is to maybe break up your song into little bits here and there and whine it either by speaking it or whine sing it and then play back and forth between the whine and then singing in your normal voice. Record yourself and be amazed at the results. You're gonna feel, you're gonna hear rather, this whole new edge to your voice. Yeah, you're gonna feel it too. But it's really quite amazing what a lot of whiny work can do to take your voice to the next level, especially if you are singing all the commercial styles, which is everything but classical music. So you did a great job today. I hope you had fun in this short video. Be sure to hit subscribe and join me for future videos and go back and catch up on some other ones. And I will see you in the next vocal video.